I'm tapped up and I've just finished Panko Park 100%. So, oh no, I don't need that one. I need this one. So there's a really great guide on Steam. There's them Chivos. That's right, Parker. That's right. So there's a really helpful guide. Um, it's the only guide, as far as I know, on um, Steam here. Shouts to Local Fire. I got, um, I found everything on my own except for um, Dave's Fishing Pose, um, Sleepy Woblorn, and um, what was it? The Crabble. I got all of those. Those were the ones I needed help with. So, as promised, I'm going to just read all of the thingers, all of the little things, but very, just first things first. I want to show you the couple areas that I didn't, um, that I didn't catch. Yeah, escape the park. So I missed some levers here in Volcano Land. Let me show you the crabble that I missed, by the way, because it's really all of the ones that I missed. Um, well, most of the ones that I missed are like little one-time things where like something crawls across the screen really fast. So he's right around here. You'll see him skedaddle. Yep, there he is. Is that man? So there's the Crabble. Um, the Monty also, um, there was a really good hint for the Monty. Monty is basically the mountain. There's an achievement called Mount Monty, and you can see he's like a pair of eyes where there's lava flowing on the map. And that was a really good hint, because that I looked at that. There are eyes that appear on that mountain just when you go in on the left path. And you can only get Monty for a second. Now, after I fixed some, I got some switches, I opened up this little lava path. Very short path, but it does have some exclusive shots here. It, um, one, there's the sleepy Helga. And there is the terrifying Spink. Oh my god, look at it. It is, it is just the worst. You can also get it with little, one of these boys. Get, get, get it with one of these boys, I said. React. Getting... Oh, it doesn't. It doesn't react, I guess. Huh. Oh, and there was also a sleeping one of these boys over to the left there. I, I missed that. But yeah, that's all we missed here. And then I just got some. I went and got the pictures. <laughs> Excuse me. So we need those pictures. And I also. There are three different levers to unlock this path, so I thought every path only got one lever, but no. Some paths have multiple levers, so for this one, I think they're already, yeah, they're already down. But you can get into that tunnel I talked about. By the way, the artifact for this thing was, um, I can't believe I missed it. It was right there. Also, I think I've missed a couple of the dialogue things. I'm not sure where. I'll, I'm, I'll probably try and just get everything, but it probably wouldn't make too too interesting a video. So you just it, once you get the three switches, they're all before this. They're all pretty well hidden, but they're up in this path before here. So now we just sloop on down in here. Just spooky on this. The Issy doesn't like when we do this. That is the Issy angry face pose. It's the tunnel. There's speckles. Hi, speckle. What do, you, what, what do you have to say about speckles? When a speckle blows up and explodes, only to reappear to safe space minutes later. Oh! Oh! But the, the, they're safe though. He's safe. Um, oh. See, they're safe! There's just somewhere else. He's, he's on a farm. He's on a farm, it's fine. What's that? That's that's an exploded speckle, isn't it? Kind of spooky this area. Oh, it's not that spooky. There's a happy little shibu there. Oh, oh, oh! That's a happy little big shibu. Get calm down, buddy. I have a, have a penko ball. Oops. Sorry, buddy. I have a penko ball. Oh, and there's um. Some more ghosts here, of course. He's over the ridge. There he is. He's, um, his head kind of fell off. So that's great. His little glowy cocoon deal. Now what's must be from these boys? The Gato! Here. 
do a trick for me. Yes. Ominous. Terrifying. Great. Yes, I'm at I must have missed one of the little things that you gotta grab with this thing to make it say words. You know what I mean. Um, what else was on this plane? I love, I love underwater aesthetics. Oh, yeah, if you know, come here. Give a little boop. They're screaming. Great. Great sounds in this game. Oh, he's got, he's got a little wobbler in leg. That's fine. We missed the wobbler and he's walking over there somewhere. So ominous. When there was a fishing day, it was kind of difficult to get. But yeah, that, that, that's all of the paths. So, since I'm not entirely sure which ones I read and missed, I'm just gonna make this a video where I just read all of the little things and my mouse is acting up. You need spankings, Mr. Mouse. Alright, so. B -b -b I already got all the pictures I need. Alright, so. Just go and read these. Panky. This one does not seem to mind burning its hands. Suitable for working in the magma pits. It's a Ribbiter's Panko. Most excellent hand to hat ratio. Make it head panky and give it a crown. This one has like terrified with like a splurt on his face. A rather jolly panky without any obvious negative properties. Perfect as a tour guide. You know which pankies can swim. Throw them in the water and see how many reappear. All oh, oh, four pankies. My. I got like a hair in my mouth or something. It's acting up. Panko Park. A very popular product in the park shop, mostly bought by adults. Oh yeah, you missed a dialogue thing. The the world the um the cafe was hollowed out from the world tree, so that's great. When Bankies enter the rebellious age, they want to wear more exotic and outlandish hats. Of course, this period lasts no longer than a couple days. Do, do do pankies only last a couple of days? Like live for a period of days? Mandatory equipment for pankies that have to perform underground labor. Before they were captured, panky sages wore mushroom captured. Poor pankies. Um wore mushroom caps to show their wisdom experience. When they come of age, every panky received this hat. A favorite to cheer up crying children on long park tours all. Who says fashion can't be sustainable? It belongs in a museum. Only the head panky, foreman of the park staff, is allowed to wear the crown. Wearing corals is a symbol for good luck and for fertility among early panky folk. Rather useless as pankies can, of course, breathe underwater. Of course. Both snack and stylish. Cult of the bubble wore these hats on missionary expeditions underground. I'm gonna give them the crown since we won. All right, so here's all these boys. I like the little, the, the, the little touches really make this game great. So I love the little, the map with all the little duders on here. And it actually gave me some hints. It's like, this is the silhouette you're looking for. And in this case with Monty, I, um, it helped me figure out where Monty was. Yeah, these are all the boys. Do we miss any in our thing? And the Omomo, I like the, the Omomo like turns into a thing and like sings. You have to knock it out. There he is, there's the Sean. Um, the Omo you have to like knock off the- oops, oh, this is not what I wanted to do. On the little bean dudes, I, um, I miss those. Now, let me see what I'm talking about real quick since I talked about it. Um, you just gotta bap these boys, you gotta bap that. And then it'll be outside of the cave, it goes down the river and it's on the other side of the cave. Alright. Start that reading. ba -boop. Loud, angry, and annoying. I know some people like that. Shong. Once Park staff got the Shong to reveal its face, they were not disappointed. Yeah, it's a pretty good face. It's a pretty good face. Kyuk sometimes deliberately poops on visitors. Delightful. Double. Happiness is a warm double. Aw, there he is. There's that man. Some animals use double skulls as a nest decoration. I like the grimness. Not too much, but just very interesting. After a nice day at Panko Park, sometimes you find a Napoli in your pockets. A gog. Might or might not be ye old world worm. Um, the popular fairy tale. Omomo. If you can make it sing, you won't ever want to make it stop. 
Oh, it's wing spread a chestnutty flavor all around the park. Yaga. At night, unsuspecting visitors often mistake it for a beautiful woman. Burblub. Never trust the burblub, grieving mother of two. Angry old man burblub. The weirdest omelet I've ever eaten. Pinko Park visitor. Capo. Its skin is wrinkled from its frequent bathing. It's, it's severed hand. Always watching. Always judging. That's Capo. Hokori is very adept at advanced pottery. Hokori seems to communicate to visitors through very small figurines. I thought this was like a more mummified corpse when I first got it, to be honest. But no, it's pottery. Small. Look how cute. Last words of a visitor. Considered a bad omen among pinkies and visitors alike. Smalls, you gotta stay away from those. Branchy! Frequent winner of biennial hide-and-seek competition. And there's Bago! Little old Bago, one, two, three. Little old Bago, come dance for me. Local children's song. So these are little sprouts, so that's why they're so easy to miss. But there's a little park sign that explains them. The Like I said, the game really does a pretty good job at uh, guiding you towards some of the harder-to-find ones. Trump. 99% stone, 1% satisfaction. Is it true? Contrary to popular belief, institutions are actually quite tart. So this one comes out and does a little face at you after you go to the cafe. That oh, one I had to check the guide for. Um, get at Wooly. I hate it and it's beady little eyes. It's the Robert Espenko. Ganafo. Bigger than it needs to be. It really is. Secret ingredient in Penko Cafe's lemon cake. Twinkle. The higher it jumps, the worse it gets. Wamu, Known as Papa Greg among park staff. Hollo. They have been seen whispering forbidden truths into unsuspecting visitors' ears. Hollow excrements are often used to reinforce park structures. Slonko! But there's a hole, there's a slonko. You can hit these guys with the um, penko ball, by the way, and they react, but it's not considered a different pose. So I mention that. These kind of flail their arms around, that's what the photo is. Burko! Where do they come from anyway? Do they grow on trees? So rub this penko. Only part of a penko that cannot be digested. Or perko. Gorgo! Don't feed the gorgo after lunchtime. We also missed a thing that says the gorgo only eats things over three feet, usually. So most park visitors are safe. I somehow missed this guy. He's just chilling on the path left from the cafe. Pepe Leo. But starts telling sad tales about his forgotten past. Cover your ears and mouth. Well, that's terrifying. Cover your ears and mouth. Maru. Accountable for over 86% of structural damage to the Pinko Cafe. You little butt. He looks like the fire in my laser face. Mud gunk. So slimy. And see, this is the thing that tipped me off to the Monty. Let him go. I think you can see the little animations. Look, look at him go. Look at him go. Yes. It's really a nice little touch. Two boar. There's these boys. There's Doug. There he be. There he be. Look at them legs. Look at them beautiful legs. There's this man. Uh, the less said about this man, the better. Uh -huh. Alright, oop, 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 oop. Fungler! The fungler was only discovered after a visitor demanded cleaning of their shoes. Plop! Danger! Extremely explodable! Park staff. Gas event. Actually smells quite pleasant. Most guests enjoy crushing Crabble eggs in their spare time between rides. <laughs> Poor Crabble. Hurry up and don't let the Crabble bite you. Folk wisdom. Dampfling. Closer to the edge of the spork, though they never see each other anymore these days. Oh. Spork. Letting children catch a spork with their tongue is a lesson they'll never forget. Onipap. Be the flame, not the Onipap. Sir Robert is Penko about the art of seduction. Look at him go. It's very seductive. Lobo. Might have been created on accident by park scientists who crossed an oni path with the Rosa Lord. Oh no. They, they have that created on accident look about them, don't they? They definitely don't look deliberate. Doug! The spider decided to walk on two legs instead of eight. You get a Doug. Noosepers. 
We believe its swarm formation can tell us a lot about the true nature of the park. Dr. Amanda Grobel, technical park scientist. Ocarina-like structures are used to play a wide variety of eerie sounds. Tubor! Fully grown tubor needs at least three large boulders per day to maintain its body weight. Tobacco. Grows over 250 meters in height. Feet in height. The one we saw is like two feet, but okay. Kipo. There's the sleeping pose. Kiki. Kipiko. Excuse me. The mindful soul of the park. Its songs have a soothing effect on many other animals. Helg. Does not get along with the Hokori after the big monkey bonanza of 56. Yeah, to steal its thing, you have to find the sleeping one. It's on the um, side over the lava fall. Helg could fall into a week-long depression if it loses its nuts. Oh. So sorry, Helg. Modder. Translated song memes. Boop, 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 wobble. Beautiful translation. Prickly, yet intriguing. That's me. Gato skulls are traded on the, highly on the black markets. Goto. Might look cuddly, but its skin is one of the hardest no known materials to man. Fascinating. Slatty! You have permission to use the flamethrowers. Some out of this pinko in a staff meeting. Rample. Rumple. Has anyone ever shouted back at it? Sarabdus Pinko, daydreaming. Scream its own ass. Turfo, it's a surprisingly good sense of rhythm. There he be, there he be. Rosa Lord, its dance is both workout and raiding ritual. That's surprising. Spink! Ever looked up there? Crevice? Just the perfect hiding place. Pinko staff trying to catch an escaped spink. Uh. uh. There's Monty! There he is! Always watching, never seeing. Monthly lens is spherical. Minus ba 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 and ba ba ba. Hi hi. Lord, voted Lord of the Seven Magma Lakes eight times in a row due to there being no other Lords of the Magma Lakes. Goomer! Jermobber? Jermobber? Meaning call of the Goomer. And there's these men! There's the frop. Look at him! <laughs> Look at him! There he goes. There's the speckle. There's the cockle. He's doing his thing. Doing his little I'm choking dance. There's the people. There's this man. There's this man. Oh, we didn't see this man. Oops. Yeah, I, I got that off screen, obviously. There's the frosh. It's like a frogfish. It's called the frosh. It, it makes a pog. It makes a pog champ face. That's its defensive mode, by the way. Let's read these boys. Man clam! It's a dance so provocatively if it doesn't want you to steal its pearls. The world may never know. Eggs lay pearls. It's pearls lay eggs. Confusing. Dr. Amanda Grobble. Blingo. Simple mind can be entertained for hours with nothing but a pebble. Hey. Truly the black sheep of the sea, known for its treacherous temperament. It's Robert Spinko. Speckle. The spikes of the peckle are actually its teeth, covered in lethal poison. I see. Many speckles don't grow old. The calcified bone serves as a nutritious snack for other lake dwellers. Delightful. God, that's horrifying. Algo. Despite its dull first impression, the algo is quite a decorative animal once in bloom. It's Robert Spinko. Coco. Do they migrate, migrate together with their coconut homes or leave them behind? Yeah, they, the ears, you meet one undersea in the deep, dark path one, and he rips his ears off. It's still life. Jellor. I don't care if it's one, two, three, or four. I just want them out of my park. Sir Robert is Pinko. Porpic. Popular activity among children. Poking the porpic is quite an adrenaline rush. Evil. Sometimes, sometimes they fall for several days before reaching the bottom of the lake. Moe bio. Split personality has been the starting point for many park experiments. Kalki! Many, vi many visitors want to know the secret behind its glowing skin. Only $4.99 at the park shop. Chabo! Will be the cutest and last thing you ever saw. Look at him! Kawaii. Despite many casualties, Sir Penko never stopped sending pinkies to collect Shabo teeth for his private collection. You can me up. Quarrel of lovers is the renewal of love. 
quite the quarrel. Nereli. I want these things to stop hiding and start entertaining the visitors. Cerebus Pinko. It hides in sand. Hate sand! Euphunio. A single Euphunio sounds horrendous, but when their voices unite, the song is quite beautiful. So they're singing. They're not screaming in terror. They're singing. These taste unbelievably good with some matcha ice cream. Gato. I'll never bow to this creature, no matter how revered. It should bow to me! Sir Robert is Penko. Wablorn. Early depictions were considered fictitious until a scientist saw it in the wild. She realized they were pretty accurate. Oh, we get the bones. Not overcooked. Wobblorn thought it's said to be unbelievably juicy. Frosh! Neither cute nor useful. Throw it with the others. Sir Robert is Penko. Worm. Squeeze its body to get to the beanie things. They are delicious, salty, and sweet. A pinky during its lunch break. Prop, may he be, may he be, he be dancing. Prop, males have friendly yet fierce little dance competitions among themselves. Oh, they're grooving. Yito. Only after the last Yito flies away will you realize you can't eat their eggs. Old saying of the pinky sages. Some park visitors wants to try making a Mito egg omelet. They paid with their teeth. Monko, let's get the Pog Champ one. Spotting a Monko can be quite difficult. They hate visitors. So deliberately a Pog, too. There's the fish one. Anything resembling a fish has a high chance of ending up with a beak around its head. Dave. Oh. <laughs> Here's this frickin' spirit realm. Banky! Tried to find the balance in all things. Did not succeed. Big mood. This one fell asleep during its lunch break. Unfortunately, chose an active geyser as its resting spot. Thank you. Too much work weighed this one a dull boy. Got a little too much inspiration from a hollow. He is a bat. This one grew old and weary, but had a very fulfilling life. Working in the park without pay. Oh. That mouse won't get far in Panko Park. Shut up and do your work or else. Oh no. Lost his head in a dark place, but made the best of it. Ouch. The Pinkies are known to accidentally bump their heads into things. This one made a habit of it. Yar, I shall jump from this here plank. See what leads me. Hi. Learn to swim only after his demise. Pinky. Once every generation, a chosen Pinky is allowed to see the great old Pinky show. Had to fare with head Pinky's wife and was punished according to park law. A loss in the staff sensory deprivation pank. Never stopped drinking citrus lemonade. Big boy. This beast will make us rich beyond belief. Seize it immediately, Sir Robert is Panko. Poor boy. Ticket to the great old Panky show. Only $99.99. I think that's it. Yes. That was Panko Park. I just freaking loved it. That was adorable. That was just the right mix of everything. We really like the art style, and um, well, that is it. I'm Sir Tap Tap. Thanks for watching. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe.